Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name's Imogen and it has been over a year since I did my last hike, Great Ocean Road, and now I'm officially getting back out there and doing the South Coast Track and Port Davie Track of Tasmania. And I've just finished parking, not parking, packing, and that is my pack there. It has come in at a total of 20 kilos for 11 day hike. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, considering my overland track, my first multi-day hike that I did, it came in at over like 23, I think it was. And that was only eight days. So not too shabby. And so what the plan is now, it is currently three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. And I'm about to leave and pop into the chemist to get a few things before going to pick my mum up from work. Um, and then she'll take me to the airport and then I'm catching a flight out to Hobart tonight. So. It is Imogen here and I've just started my Port Davey and South Coast track. Oh, so I've just left Port Davey car park and got my pack all set and everything's ready to go. And oh, it's just past 11 o'clock and super excited, but also pretty nervous, but I feel so much better now that I'm out here and I've started. So it's a 160K high call up. And I'm hoping to finish on the 25th of February. Today's currently the 15th. I've just wrote my name down the logbook and I oh, just left the bus and the people I was on the bus with. And oh, I'm already popping. So. Oh. I've been walking for about over an hour now and I just just started catching my breath again I just saw two massive black snakes and spoken to a girl and she said that there's no she doesn't see many snakes so hopefully there is not any more snakes because oh my god that was so terrifying it was all just grass bushes that went up to your hips <sighs> so now I've just sat down have a break and eating my brownie before I keep walking again for a lunch stop Oh my god, that was terrifying. I've just been hiking for about two hours now and it's starting to get really hot. I mean, it was really hot from the start. I've got my feet all wet, so they're lovely and cold and I've got some water, so I'm feeling a lot more hydrated because for a bit there I was panicking that everything was dried up, but no, everything's good. Lunch here and I'm currently just made it to Junction Creek. So that means I've done nine kilometers and it's only 1.30, so I'm gonna go to the next campsite, which is Watershed. And stay there the night which is another like 
10 Ks, I think it is. And also, I haven't seen any more snakes. That is also a plus. <laughs> date so i'm 15 k's or roughly 15 k's into the port davy track and as you can see in front that is the condition of the track so <laughs> let's make our way through <laughs> as you can see this track is not used as much as other ones in tasmania so just honestly i'm one thinking is snakes stay away if you're there go away Mum was right. I just came across another snake. It was fucking scary. My my language just put its tongue out at me and oh my god. <laughs> I just <sighs> I'm still going, but oh my god, that's like three in one day. <laughs> campground where I'm going to spend the night and I've decided we've crossed the river tonight so it'll give me time for my shoes to dry for tomorrow so I'll be staying over there in the river oh, I'm so thankful to have made it I did 20 k's just over 20 k's today and my legs are buggered so nice have a cool dip after I set up here my tent <laughs> here is my sexy clothesline Woo! and my wet shoes <laughs> and also my duct tape is from cutting my finger today um, when I cut the avocado with the knife turns out my knife's pretty sharp <laughs> so yeah if there's any predators watch out <laughs> I'm just going to sit here for the next however long looking at that view while I'm sitting in a creek. <laughs> okay, so it's dinner time now and my cold soaking is not really cold soaked yet. It's still quite tough, but I'm too hungry to care. And while on the note of food, um, I have put on my pants that I haven't put on for quite a while since like my hike last year and thanks to COVID and shift work I haven't put on a bit of weight there um never been this tight so hopefully after this walk they are a little bit looser 
But anyway, back to the point of dinner. I am currently have. Oh, I'm cold soaking. And if you don't already know, I tend to cold soak on all the multi day hikes so far that I've done on my own, as I find it just so much easier, quicker. And I did it for my first multi day hike, the Overland Track. And since then, I'm just. Just it stops all the stresses of a stove not working or running out of fuel or so I just tend to yeah cold soak so tonight I've got well actually every second night this is what I'll be eating is ramen noodles well two minute noodles with TVP so the vegetable protein stuff that you can so pepitas dehydrated peas and some really hot chili powder which if you don't already know I love a lot of spice so yeah that is my dinner for a lot of these, a lot of this hike. <laughs> I'm actually so tired. I've been reading and I'm just about to fall asleep and don't mind the white cream on my face. It's just my lips are pretty dry <sighs> at the moment from the elements and everything else. I suffer eczema, but that's not beside the point. Anyway, it's time to lights out even though it's still daytime out there it's just I am actually so tired it's sleepy time and I've a big day tomorrow it's like 24 k's I think roughly but I'll probably end up doing more than that because today was only meant to be 17 but I did 20 so we'll see how that goes off to Spring River tomorrow and also I'm already feeling like there's already bruises from my pack anyway night night sleep well and I know I will be <laughs> morning I'm sure I'm looking fresh as a daisy on day two <laughs> so this morning I woke up at 5 30 just before 5 30 and I put down my tent already and I'm now going to enjoy breakfast which is cold oats soaked oats overnight oats soaked <laughs> and as you can see I'm pretty tired uh, and yeah I'm gonna eat breakfast and then start walking and hopefully see the sunrise <laughs> and ready to go and that was a bit of a fright I didn't actually know where the path was from the campsite so I ended up bush trekking first thing hopefully I found it but really the path that I did find still wasn't that great so something to be weary of this view is amazing but I decided to uh, hang back for a little bit like it's quarter to seven now so it took me over an hour to get ready I decided to enjoy my oats and coffee at the campsite rather than have it on the way because I'm a little bit out of practice with packing that will come with time <laughs> um, and it doesn't really matter anyway because it's kind of cloudy today so you can't really see the sun yet it's behind the clouds over there anyway I'm off and hopefully don't get too lost today <laughs> fingers crossed and yeah so 24 case today and Hopefully I don't get too much pain. My shoes are already soaked from last night and I'm wearing pants today because my shorts are soaked from last night. <laughs> Port Davy track in a nutshell. <laughs>
Alrighty, so time for a little update. I've done um, 11, around 11 k's today, and I'm just leaving the next campsite, Watershed Camp, which I honestly say I'm happy with where I stayed last night. It was a lot nicer and views of mountains. But here, oh, there's views of mountains, but not from the the um, tent, the campsite. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling pretty tired now. Um, I'm just in that wave of irritation a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, it's just little things keep getting to me. Like, I just cracked my GoPro, which I'm really upset about. And also ate my afternoon snack, and it's still only like 10.30 or something. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing really well t this morning. Now, I was doing really well, but I'm just going through a bit of a bump in the road at the moment. And my foot's plying up. I'm still smiling. <laughs> so, uh, next campsite is where I'm staying tonight, which is Spring River. And that's like 14 k's away, I think, roughly. Um, so, I might actually have a nap on the way there. And also, I'll have my lunch, but I'll have that later, considering I've already eaten my afternoon snack. <laughs> Just went knee deep in freaking mud here and then almost fell off the damn cliff. Ah. Still alive. Now it's just about to hit two o'clock and I've just finished lunch and I've changed into shorts because it's, it's getting a bit hot in the pants. So what I've just been contemplating is like I haven't had even seen one human in over 24 hours. I think that's the longest time that's been the case and it's kind of like it is a strange feeling. I think it's just that afternoon time when you just feel a bit flat so hopefully I pick up after this but yeah once I get back into it it should be fine. I just keep walking. <laughs> getting a bit tired now. I'm not tired. Uh, no, I don't know. You can see I've just walked along that path and then come through the bushes and then come down here, up here, and now I've come up here. And now I'm walking up there, continuing on. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Let's keep going. Latest update, um, Spring River is much further than 14 k's from Watershed Camp. I've been going for hours and it's like over, it's like 5.30 now. I just got super lost in these bushes and I've cut 
my hand pretty deeply so I'm gonna have to bandage that one up. Finally found where the path is. I think I actually got through those bushes behind me and came out the other end just a very unconventional way and as a result of that I've got really sore legs now and sore knees and a really busted up hand. But apart from that I'm glad to be on back on track and I feel like I've got another two kilometers or so to go or maybe three and it's just taking me a little bit longer than I expected. So yeah, it's causing me a bit, a bit frantic, but I think I might have a bit of a snack now before I continue on because I don't know how much longer I've got of this. <laughs> anyway, besides all that, I'm somewhat enjoying it, but I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight. <laughs> I've made it to Spring River. Oh my God. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. I thought I'd never make it after falling into the bush and cutting everything up and getting lost. I finally made it to the Spring Bridge. Smile. <laughs> oh my God. Now it's, I think, close to six o'clock. I'm gonna set my tent up. We're gonna have a walk around first. I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, so dinner for tonight is all set. It has been cold soaked. Tonight is couscous, some nut mix, pepitas, and I added something else, some raisins and sultanas. Oh my god, I got pimples coming up everywhere. Actually, they're not pimples, they're scratches. Whoop. Oh my god. Oh look at that. Wow. <laughs> doesn't even hurt because there's a lot of other things that are hurting as well and that doesn't isn't as bad as it looks it's just it was easier to tape it that way and less annoying and it wouldn't fall off anyway so i'm gonna be in my tent tonight and funny thing is it's like it's come to the realization i'm in the middle of the bush and there's no one around me and it's come it's like well i'm all alone that's what i'm out here for to experience those feelings and emotions it's pretty full on pretty yeah bigger realization and i can see them being sunburnt uh yeah i left it too long to put sunscreen on all right will be a better day like an easy day it's only 10ks because today i ended up doing like 28ks i think roughly which was a lot more than i expected and uh so hopefully 10ks and just the boat crossing won't be too bad there may be rain so that is where it's a bit iffy rain's okay but if it's wind and boat crossing they don't mix so hopefully we can get across tomorrow because i don't really want to wait around um for the next day see how it goes but i'm gonna enjoy my dinner now and then probably go straight to sleep because i'm buggered and i think that's kind of why i'm feeling like all alone in the bush because i am so tired <laughs> that's all right <laughs> we're moving on and i'm feeling good so that's it for day two and yeah more to come in day three Haha, <laughs> <laughs> actually found the uh, toilet for this campsite. <laughs> Hello. Time for me to sleep. My night. <laughs> I will not be including this in the video because I wanted to just check the charge. Oh my. Oh, I've been a lot in one go. Oh, good. Peace out. <laughs> day three <laughs> so last night was oh, the most disrupted sleep it just rained and was so windy all night i was freaking out my tent would blow off but luckily i don't know how to put a tent up and it stayed <laughs> so it's like seven o'clock now so i've got like almost 12 hours sleep in so i'm feeling pretty good about that and like i did wake up earlier but like it was so windy i wasn't gonna get up and only doing 10 k's today it's like kind of like a rest day 
But anyway, I'm having breakfast now. And uh, this is a new one. It's called, it's quinoa flakes with like protein powder and stuff. And I haven't tried it yet. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> so let's go for it. Mm. I think it's missing peanut butter. I'm gonna have some peanut butter. Okay, so now I'm off and racing. Well, for the last 11 minutes, it took me, well, 11 minutes to travel 280 meters through that jungle you can see over there. And the path was very unclear. I had to go over branches and trees, but I'm out and I made it. So this path looks a bit more distinct than I'm going on currently, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna have a coffee break somewhere on the way. All packed up and ready to go. And I was a lot quicker today to get ready. It only took me like 40 minutes compared to yesterday, which was like an hour and 15. Oh, I'm sludging. But yes, <sighs> wish me luck for day three. <laughs> I must say uh, the past, well I've done 5Ks today now and it would have to be the most challenging terrain I think I've done so far on this hike. That said, it was so much, there was mountains going downhill and there's so much mud because it rained so much last night. So my feet are absolutely soaked. But also it's windy and there's been rain and there's sun, so typical Tasmanian weather. The only thing is there's been snow, touch wood, but I don't think it's cold enough or will be. So hopefully that stays the case because that would be awful. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna have a break now and my coffee that I was gonna have earlier, but I've decided to have it now. And so yeah, I'm like halfway to the boat crossing and I think where I'm gonna stay tonight. So pretty easy day, thankfully, because my foot's been playing up. And so that's kind of a, kind of a bummer on day three. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> yacht out there. How cute. Oh wow. There are other people on this earth. <laughs> I can see where the boat crossing will be. You can see the path and then the little gap between the two islands.
rode the boat, well, shockingly tried to row the boat, as you've seen that time lapse, into those rocks over there. And so now I've decided instead of trying to get out of the rocks by rowing, I'm just walking along the coast with the boat. I think this is my type of boating. <laughs> and it's so windy, but I'm going to prove to myself I can, I can do this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I made it. And oh my god, I think that's probably the worst thing I've ever done in my short term memory of whatever. That was, oh my god, that was shocking. I had to go probably 200 meters through rocks with that boat tucking it through the water and now my leg oh man I cut myself oh fuck my GoPro I think I've broken it as well oh no oh my god you're working it works well that was absolutely shocking finally got the boat across but I think I've broken my GoPro which I'm really upset about and I feel like I might have lost a lot of my videos because I cracked it the other day and now I, and then it fell in the boat in the water and I just feel really whew, like I'm so traumatized by that but then I've got to take the boat back and then come back over so I'm really freaking out there but I'm just gonna have lunch first and then decide what I'm gonna do because it's just that was shocking but I feel like I should do it today and then I don't have to do it tomorrow okay so my plan of attack now is I'm gonna take one boat back and then swim back to my bag because there's no way I can row in two boats in this and then one boat and I'm not doing that again what I just had to do so <laughs> wish me luck oh my gosh <laughs> hello so uh, currently I have just made it to room stay for tonight and I'm not feeling very well at all I'm gonna spend the last two hours swimming in <coughs> the sea and I feel really crap. I turns out I can't roll a boat and I was just pulling the boat and getting nowhere for hours. So as a result I have got really bloody knees and salt water up my noggle. Like there's no tomorrow. And all my Dignity sort of gone out the door. I am still alive, but God, <laughs> barely. Anyway, no, I'm not that bad. I'm still just that's traumatizing. I realize nothing can go as bad hiking wise as rowing a boat can. That's my realization. Anyway, I'm setting up camp now. Hopefully, we'll feel better next half hour. <laughs> day four and yes I know I'm looking worse every single day um, after doing a three hour swim in the and row in that water behind me this is what you look like from no swimming in ages <laughs> anyway um, I had a good sleep considering it was so windy as you can see it's still windy now and of course I sound really freaky because I should clear out throughout the day oh I'm in my wet weather gear today the only dry gear I have, which is quite ironic. Um, so I'm off to Melaleuca this morning, which is, track notes say it's 12 k's away, but from the track notes that said in distance wise previously, I'm not holding that to a, hold that to a, hold that to a team? I don't even know. But, Wish me 
luck. <laughs> Crazy. I just got absolutely stoked, like torrential rain. And now there's blue skies above me. Who would have thought? It feels like I'm in Tasmania. <laughs> in mud. Oh shit. <sighs> Port Davy track. Hmm. Woohoo! I can see Melaleuca in the distance. So that like little white hut thing over there I think and also the little flag wind the wind flag for the plane how exciting <laughs> also what that means is that I've essentially almost finished the Port Davy track and soon to start the South Coast track bridge towards Melaleuca and oh it's so exciting and so close now um I haven't got that many videos of what I just walked through because mostly it was just button grass and mud and it looks like I've still got a bit to go which honestly isn't that enjoyable to walk through and I don't think it's that enjoyable to watch either so um okay once I'm Melaleuca I think I'm just gonna dry my feet a little bit because they are absolutely soaked and I might have I could have some of my lunch but like still pretty early like I smashed that quicker I don't know if it's because my pack's lighter the weather was shocking so it makes you walk faster or I'm getting fitter it could be like a combination oh and also the tra terrain was easier than like yesterday could be a combination of all of them it was meant to be five to six hour walk it's like I've only been walking for three and a half so hmm, not sure um yeah but I suppose I did only have like a five minute break to have a snack so could be that too. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep walking to get to Melaleuca. 